All right, ladies and gentlemen, hello. There's a doggo barking right now. But happy uh, Thursday. We are just logging in right now with another doggo barking in the background. And we're about to get started with some more of the Heaven Sword Me MSQ. Oh my gosh. I was trying to make this the intro to the YouTube video, but it's not working out very good because we have a, a doggo barking. Yo, what's going on, yo, Bex? Hello. Hello, hello, my friends, and welcome back to another one. I think I, the, um, the brightness went down again, so let me bump that up a little bit. Doesn't look like it's bumping it up a lot. Well, Uh, does it look too dark at all? It look, I mean, we are in a kind of a dark area, so maybe that's it right there, but Maybe just a little okay. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean it's kind of dark here I don't know my my screen always looks brighter than the one that's on stream so i kind of try to try to get that to match it but i don't know let's see how good it is outside i'm sure out here it's like fine okay uh so we are going to speak with sid again that's where we're going can't fly here. Um, is there a? Yes, there is. Sky Steel Manufacturer. So I was, was trying to look at um, where I'm at, and I think I'm, like I'm making decent progress. I think for this. Um, so we're getting there, but it definitely, definitely got a ways to go. Um, I was looking at the quests in order and stuff on uh on like uh final fantasy 14 um wiki so i think we're so like i i've been hearing a bunch of people they call like each section by their number so i think technically the what this is like 3.0 why do so many people call places but or like things by its number? Like I've seen 2.4, 2.2, like I guess is is that like the better way of explaining it? I never really fully understood that. You mean the updates or I mean like like story, I guess. Or I guess it's technically updates too. Because like I've seen so many people is, is MX uh the I mean is Heaven Sword is that just like Heaven Sword MSQ? Like that's it. It's not like oh now you're about to start at 3.2 or oh now you're gonna start at 3.4. Yeah, it's just easier to understand when it came what came when. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Heaven Sword is, is three point uh three point oh to three point five. Gotcha. Yeah, we're so from my understanding I'm still like kind of in the lower levels. Um or, I mean, well, not the lower levels. Uh, the lower levels for the main story quest compared to my actual level, I think. I think I'm, like, doing, like, level 57 or 58 missions. But I'm technically 59. So I'm slightly over-leveled. But I am A-OK -okay with that. I think. I think. Unless if I just caught up. So we're going over to the the Astro whatever this one. 
just gotta keep it nice and easy it'll tell you where you need to be at the top left of the quest window when you talk to them to accept a quest uh it just said 57 so you're right okay nice yeah so i'm i'm slightly over leveled and i, I definitely like being over leveled than under leveled by a long shot and in even with that like i feel like i've definitely ran into some moments that were slightly sketchy like definitely oh yeah so i don't know if you're here yopex but i met a new character that i really like or i think is cool um hilda she's cool i think she's technically like a machinist that's your weapons and armor needing an upgrade. Hilda is the best. <laughs> okay, you're saying there was one part that was difficult. That means that my weapons and armor definitely need. Yeah, I, I definitely bo uh, I probably agree with that. Yeah, like this thing's 52. So should I regularly be shopping for new stuff? Like I have a bunch of 52 items still. <laughs> Ah, sorry. Um, yeah, these are all 52, 52, 52, 30. Well, as a DPS, you should shop for new weapons. My weapon is 55. Bless, thank you. Got another case of Zoa for the first time to the in a while today. Northern reaches of the Sea of Clouds, <laughs> see. where countless isles yet remained uncharted. You get to sixty stop for sixty stuff. Def okay, we'll do, we'll do. Don't in worry about gear until seventy-one. Land okay. Known as Azizla, and the unmasked villain who sought to claim its secret. I have a question after this cutscene. Watch it be in like 30 seconds. Am I close? So I've heard that there's a cutscene that's an hour long. Oblivious to Am the I close to that? Followed in their wake, <laughs> they came. I've heard that they also give you a warning beforehand. Why did my Twitch just say? just said welcome to the chat room hour long cutscene oh I have them at the end of the expansions oh okay Whew. okay so I'm good for now but they're not that long okay oh so now we're in a new completely new air well I kind of could tell but now we also have some more aether currents. These places are always fun to try to navigate through because the map does not do a good job at distinguishing the top from the bottom. Like if I had an objective that said right there, like I want to know if it was up here or down there. More like 20 to 30 minutes, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I can imagine this spot is probably not great at all. Stand slash lookout uh, for the eastern edge. I didn't even realize our quest was right here. I still think it's so, like, I know it's something so little, but I still find it so interesting that this game incorporated emotes into actions that need to be completed for quests like that's very that's i don't know that's like cool it's so simple but it's like whoa <laughs> i don't know what else to say like it's just okay 
like I have to do it again. Uh, start looking out. Look out. All right. Yep. Uh huh. But it bring out a different uh, minion. Who we got? Who we got? Wind up Alphanald. I'll leave. Wait, stand. Look out far to the north. I think I need to look over here. Or maybe I need to do it closer. Wait, what? It says do it right here. I'm doing it right here. Do I have to stand right here? What the heck? Oh. They've just started to introduce new ones in the most recent story patches. The ones, uh, the next ones are in the next expansion coming in November. Huh. I'm excited for that, that update. I think that'll be pretty cool. <gasps> Who? Who's there? Who is that? Monkass. Imperial troops. Ishgardians. Protect. You shall. Not today. He. Oh shit! I didn't spawn my thing. There we go. Got it. Got it. Okay. Hold on. Now. Not today. Heathens. Oh uh, yeah. Taliak, protect me. Wait, are they healing them? Yeah, they are. Shoot. Get the healer. Stop the heal. No. There we go. They literally healed up last second. Oh God. It feels so loud right now. Oh yeah, I, so I ordered a, uh, I ordered a new MMO mouse, which I'm excited for. I think it might actually be, nah, I forget if it doesn't, if it comes today or not. It's the same kind as the one I currently have, but just not SWOTOR edition, which I'm still very glad that I have to this day. Which I've also mentioned like so many, way too many times on stream. <laughs> I'm ordering a new PC because I can't find any graphics cards. Oh yeah, dude, I can imagine. Probably cheaper in the long run, literally. Like if, God forbid, if something happened to my PC, granted, I, I, uh, I think building your own PC is, is cool. And if you enjoy doing that stuff, then like all go for it, you know? But I am very much a rebuild person nowadays. Like I'll swap out things, but like doing everything by hand, it's, it's like, okay, yeah, I don't know. 
Same, it's kind of like the same thing I, I view on like cars. Like, yeah, I could install and learn how to do all the parts myself and uh, building a PC is much more easier than building a car or swapping out parts in a car personally. But like, I'd rather just either pay somebody to do it or just uh, buy pre-built in a way. I don't know. It's I mean, that's not really the best example but nowadays i mean with prices i really do think it is cheaper to um ex well especially with how expensive some graphics cards are with the uh scalping and everything i already had a list to build it but it relies on getting a processor and graphics card and i just can't find any exactly i mean like if you're waiting for a very long time then like that's not too bad but like most of the time, like, you know, I feel like most people can just, um, it, it can literally almost be cheaper to just buy a pre-build. And then honestly, buying a cheap, uh, or not a cheap, but buying a pre-build and then swapping out the things that you want and then sell the old parts or whatever. Like, I, I've swapped out a good amount of stuff now. I swapped out my RAM recently. My I've gone through one graphics card. I've added extra storage. Uh, I've added multiple extra storage, actually. So, I don't know. I kind of like doing it like that, too. There's also options for modability and pre-build, so that's cool. Yeah, exactly. So, they all have their pros and cons. And every, everybody's going to do it their own way at the end of the day. My dad, he literally, my dad goes on spending sprees sometimes. And he spent 3k on a laptop with a 3080 in it to play Microsoft Flight Simulator. And that thing sounds insane when he's actually playing it, but it also runs really smooth. Like that's like the only, I mean, he's played other games before, but like he, he loves flying and stuff. So now like, now that like a 3080 is out, I remember he was telling me, he was like, what's the best graphics card? And I was like, 3080, like 3090 technically. He was like, okay. I was like, just get a PC, like just buy a desktop. It's like half the price, but he wanted to get a laptop. So he got a laptop, <laughs> literally. I'm just gonna get that 64 gigs of RAM version just to play Minecraft. But he loves it. He sets up like multiple like screens and he has a flight stick. So whatever. I mean, that's probably going to be me too when I'm old. <laughs> I plan on being a gamer for quite a long time. Yeah, it sounds sick. Yeah, I, I want to like try it with like other games and just see how how it run expensive but i mean at the same time it'll last it should last for a while you know it says there's one right here aether current to the south hey it's above me i bet you it's above me Somebody joined. <laughs> somebody joined the free company I'm in, and somebody, or no, they, they logged in, and somebody said, that's one high hobbit. And then the next thing it said, high hobbit has lo left the free company. The stairs lead to it? Oh, okay.
Then they're like, uh... I just, I'm just now realizing the, uh, the level on the top left. I see what you were saying. Yeah, right here. That's one high hobbit. High hop, highest hobbit leaves <laughs> the free company. <laughs> whatever it's too late it's too late to laugh now wait there's a thing right here i feel like i've done so many of these gotten so many of these uh aether currents and i don't even have any areas unlocked where i've gotten the aether currents Thunder travel, right? Travel right here. Aether currents. Like, I'm close for some of them, at least. Sea of clouds. Like, oh, God, there's so many. Oh. I get it. But I'm also not the biggest fan of it. Oh, shoot. I need to tune to this. There's so many funny names to uh, to find from random people you come across. Uh, yeah, uh, there's so there's so many good names. I, I love how pe how creative some people get. Whether you go all in and like make uh, uh like role playing name, or if you just you know just make a name. I find uh. Like make a funny name or something like that. The people are so creative, and then there's me, and I'm like, uh, Cassis Clay. Yep. Or Cat Sass. Cat Sass. I always said Cat Sass. Sass. But yeah. The one thing I always struggle with is my name good enough? Am I good enough? There's all these other people with cool names. Blah, 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 blah. Found Optimus Prime yesterday. <laughs> oh my god. Our Optimus Prime? That is amazing. That is. Oh my god. Our Optimus Prime. And they actually are colored like that. Dude, like literally, like how? How are people so good at that? I've also been debating about changing to an aura, aura, however you say it. The aura, aura. Uh, I'm 
not the biggest fan of these bagpipes here. Not super interested in this place here. Not complete catering. Wait, was that a chocobo person? Nope. Uh, flying nest, sleepless, and turn to the race counter and speak with the race chocobo register. person I got partied up with. Oh boy. What's this gonna be? Hold on. Hemorrhoids? <laughs> That's funny. Get it! What are the aura? Uh, aura? Are they? I saw that they're like lizard demon people or something like that. They remind me of like tieflings, but they're not tieflings. But they're dragon. That's what it is. They're dragon people. I mean, that sounds cool. I could, um. Do I have a fan Fantasia? They go into lore and storm blood. Ooh. I'm excited for that. There's an entire area dedicated to them. Hmm. I could, um. Hmm. How much can you only buy a Fantasia, Fantasia, however you say it, from like online or. And you, um, I don't know. Like, I like my guy. He's bulky. And he has a beard. But I wouldn't mind playing around. Oh, you have one, really? Do you get multiple ones? You get one at the end of ARR. I'm just afraid that, oh, it was right here. If I pop it and don't like it, can I cancel it? Or do I lose it? Ready to hunt the white whale? Sure, let's do that. Oh, Mullis Blue. Limitless Blue. I mean, if you want, if you get to the end and decide you want to cancel everything, you can. Oh, really? Okay, and then do you, I guess you keep your thing. And won't consume it until the change is happening. That's what I like to see. Okay. Maybe uh maybe after this I'll look. I'll look really quick. Okay, nice. So this is gonna be an eight person party. Hmm. Mm-hmm. What uh what uh I wouldn't mind looking at the races again and stuff. Ah, that's so that's what they look like. Let me just look at this person up close. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Meant to do scroll lock. Hmm. So I can look like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just investigate. Like four different versions of them. Or I can become a bunny girl. <laughs> look into my eyes. Ah! Look into my eyes. Did they fix the early leveling yet? Make it less bloody or whatever? I want to be a bunny girl. No, they did not. At this. Where are they? What class are they? All right, they must be a rogue or a ninja. Bunny boy coming in Endwalker. So there's that. Oh my God. 
Maybe I'll become a bunny boy. Wait, so are they, are they like actually bunnies? Like, is that their actual ears? That's not a headpiece. Uh, no, but Pat, unfortunately, the game is a very long. Those are actual ears. Oh my god. I love dying. <laughs> what? Wait. Your character looks like Tex. That's funny. Oh my god. Literally. <laughs> We're identical. I, that's the same face. The same beard. The same hair. That is so funny, actually. Oh my god. Literally. It might be a different face, but that's so funny. Post that in Discord real quick. That's so funny. Yeah, those are actual ears and the RS horns are their ears. Okay, huh. Yeah, after after this uh this queue, I'll look at the thing. Actually, if I go into it, is it going to take me out of the thing? Let's see. Use. <gasps> oh, okay, so you use it and then Wait, so how do you use it then? It lets me change it, but... We have better gear. But yeah, Pat, Pat um, if you're still here, so... Going through all of A Realm Reborn is a drag. An absolute drag, but it is um, getting to Heaven Sword picked up a good amount. So I like the new area. Doing all the extra stuff like towards the the end of it. Um, I'm still on the first expansion, so like I'm still fairly early on. I still have two more expansions to go before the next expansion drop drops so that's why i didn't give it a fair try and wanted to wait until they fixed the bloat before i give it another go yeah well they did i mean they pulled a bunch of stuff from what there originally was so it's a lot better now than it was years ago but there's still a lot you have to undress and select log out option in the system on the bottom right then there will be a new option to change okay i think i remember that actually um so maybe after this we'll do that or at least look i don't know if i want to 100 percent do it but i'm kind of like eh, good like i'd be all right with it maybe potentially if i like it i feel like that's a, th a very common thing a lot of people do in this game, I feel like a lot of people change how they look. Oh yeah, this will probably be the least bloated the game is going to be for ARR. When Unwalker comes, they're going to do a stat crunch and make the game a little harder. Really? So gonna, uh, I think I read... I did read something about that. Um, so I'm kind of glad I'm going through it now. I also saw they're removing the um, the belts, so hmm, that'll be fun. But 
but yeah either way uh i mean i'm looking forward to whatever comes down the line you know so many stakes yeah they're moving uh all the excess slots to weapons and rings so what is this offhand i don't think i can have an offhand right i'm a summoner i can't use that do summoners get offhands not as a caster okay that's what i figure yeah our, our our hand has to be free in order to cast if it's not free then we cannot cast uh-huh exactly all fans are for shields and dual weapons okay like paladin and ninja yeah i did see the ninja had um rogue which turns into ninja I saw they had a, a second dagger, which is pretty cool. And you can also see it right there. Yeah, definitely. I mean, at some point, I'm, I'm excited to just like kind of continue the story and even try out other classes too. Like I always forget that this game is like, you can swap on the fly and then you can also, um, like you don't need to make another character each time. So, and right now, like the, the cool thing about this is right now I haven't even subbed. Um, so Pat, that's another thing is, is right now, if you log into the game, if you're still here, um, you get 14 days. If you've previously subbed in the past, you get 14 days for free to be able to play. So, um, yeah. Blue Mage is fun, but it takes a really long to level solo. I I haven't really looked into Blue Mage, and I also saw that it's like it's like a limited job. So, oh, uh, you haven't sub before, so I won't get that. Well, if you did the free trial, so I don't know how the free trial works, because there's a free trial that you can play the entire game up to heaven, or I think the entire game and heaven sword for free and i don't think i qualify for that because i it means you can't use the duty finder and you gotta find people manually for dungeons really no there's a there well currently there is a free trial i know that gives you all the way up to no they don't do the only up to 20. Yeah, that's only for WoW. <laughs> they they do expansions. They So you can literally, if you're like, today you started and you're like, I want to play this game or I want to try it. You could literally play up to level um, uh, what is it? Or not up to level. You can play up to the end of Heaven Sword before you spend a dollar but i think there's things like what um yobex just said it includes the first expansion too yeah exactly so all three that is like that's insane and i remember when i bought this game they gave me 30 days like when you buy the game they give you 30 days of play time and then if you hit like level 30 within those 30 days which is pretty easy to do from what i remember they give you another 60. so yeah downside um can't have friends gill capped um can't join in a free company i remember that one but i i've personally and i i get that can't use the market ports there's a lot of downsides but but at the base like looking at it just as a base game being able to like if you really wanted to yeah the, the market board that's like the auction if you wanted to you can join the game without having to pay a single dollar which is really cool for what that is um 
But I remember when I started, I, I bought the game because it, it included Heaven's Word when I bought it. So I did that and then um, they gave me 30 days of playtime for the buying the starter pack. And then like once I hit a certain level, they gave me another 30 days. So I had 60 days. And then I got burned out pretty fast. So then I stopped. And then in the beginning of this year, apparently, apparently it was this year, um, like January, I played for a little bit more and I, I subbed for the first time. But. I love Auction House, but it's a. But it is still a good deal, exactly. So, I mean, for... How did you play? Did you play it before, Pat? Or did you not at all? There's still people that play for free even today. But yeah, if you hit level 30, they give you more days from your first sub. Yeah, exactly. So that's what happened to me. The the dungeons, the, the raids, like, I, I love the fact that they incorporate this stuff into the main story like i hate it for the fact that you do like get duty queue times like i just did like i just sat there for 10 minutes but i love it at the same time because it's such a community focused game like i tried the free thing but i didn't reach level 10 because it was so slow i can see that Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, I think you move out of those. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the queue time, I've noticed that too. That's the other thing, Pat. I feel like you, you like, kind of have to find a class that you enjoy in this game. Because otherwise, it is going to feel, like, so long. I love it. Yeah, they don't even exist. Yeah, I remember I've gone, like, there's, like, two times I've gone as uh, a scholar. Which is the healing class, for those that don't know. And I, I mean, it wasn't the worst thing in the world. Um, for me doing heals and stuff because I still have like luckily all my gear works for scholar too for most of it But I love the social aspect of this game like I've played WoW so many times I've never had anything like that I, I honestly think I'm at the point where I'm done with WoW, like personally. There's, it's just not, I don't know. I've gone back to, so, to it three times, three or four times for years now. I, I don't think he's done with Matt WoW. I mean, he is for now. He's having a lot of fun. Yeah, he is. And, and I think a lot of people are too. So like, He's, he's definitely not done done, but he, he's done for now from what he said. So I'm sure he'll keep checking out updates and everything, but like, I don't know. At the same time, like WoW is a, what, it's a, how many years? 2004. So 16 year old game. And the other thing is like, when you are that old of a game, and if you're not like taking your community feedback to its like core, then like, I don't know, it's just gonna, it's not gonna work out one day. So, I don't know, but I'm also not a WoW streamer, so I can't tell you all about the, the WoW issues.
I do love MMOs though. Um, the oh yeah, Pat. So, did you ever pre-order New World, or do you plan on playing New World at all? Because the the beta drops. I mean, it comes out next month, number one. But also, the beta for New World drops in five days on the twentieth. Yeah, plan on playing it for sure. Oh god, I got stuck. The beta, or you mean like full release? Whew. So you're still in the same boat. I didn't know about the beta. Yeah, so, so, I mean, it's been a year, right? So this entire time, they uh, supposedly have made a lot of changes that flesh out the combat in that game uh, from last year to today. So there's a beta coming out on the 20th uh, for I don't know how long it's going to be, but it's still there's still going to be a wipe and everything. But I, I'm thinking about pre-ordering the game to play it and make my final decision. I mean, I, I loved it when we played it. Um, I thought it was so much fun. And I, I still think it was like, it's funny. A lot of people are like, yeah, it was kind of like meh. But I don't know. It was like one the, the one MMO that like recently that pulled me in big time. So yeah, you have to pre-order it to play it. So it is a, I mean, it's a $40 game. So, and it, as of right now, it's buy once and, and play for good. So. Player commendation. These people just like bounce right when it's done. They're out. Oh, I thought it was 60. Yeah, I'm a pre -order, probably pre-order played on Tuesday. Exact. I think I will too. Because, I mean, if it was any other game, I, I probably wouldn't. But because of how much fun I had when we played it, I think it's worth worth trying at least. Especially to see what changes they made. I'm gonna shut up for this cutscene. Or well, for now. <gasps> I almost have the completed gauntlet. The Time Stone. <laughs> All we need now is the power. <laughs> I almost got Marvel copied Final Fantasy XIV. Harker. It's receiver blessing. Another game that's coming out soon is Lost Ark. Which, funny enough, I actually pre-ordered that for a day, so forth the Lord of Mists, and then refunded it. Did all others before him. <laughs> because I was like, "Why am I pre-ordering this?" How many times does this make, Warrior of Light? Ah, how much you have grown, far beyond the limits of mere mortals. He has what we seek. Yeah, I remember that grind too. That he does. But doing the, the um, to those areas were the pretty fun. Of Alak. Fighting the something with the D. I see you have regained the blessing of light, albeit at a fraction of its former strength.
I still, I just hope the the hatchets and the uh, the musket still feels pretty good. Cause I loved that stuff. The hatchets were a lot My of fun. My thanks to you, Asian, and to you as well, Warrior of Light, for saving us the effort of slaying Bismarck. All right, I'm getting pretty excited to play that. Now that the key is within our grasp, the path to the heavens shall at last be laid bare. <laughs> yeah, that is a sick key. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to get a key like that to my house. Every time you need to open the door, you need to hold it up in the air. It'll open like that, flash on the doorknob, unlock. And then fall back into my hand and close. It might be a little bit of a hassle when you're running late, but at least it'll look cool. By our deeds shall the wrongs of antiquity be righted, and man reclaim <laughs> the reins of history. Pictures of Lost Ark, Ark look cool. Yeah, they, they do. I didn't realize that the game is a top down game but a lot of people love it and it's been out for a while like in the east so this is the first time it's coming like in english in the west so some people love it so i mean i'm i'm down to try it it's it's also going to be a free to play game so I forget about it to be honest yeah maybe it's probably gonna be like one of those games that's in like the top selling for a while once it drops gonna be on that battlefield grind true you know it's funny so i i still have ea play pro and that game comes out on october like it's 22nd i think but if you have EA Play Pro, or if you buy the special edition of that game, you get it on like the 16th. And I'm still gonna be, we're gonna be on our honeymoon when it comes out. So I'm not even gonna be able to play it. <laughs> Unfortunately. Wait, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna have to be in Hawaii and I can't play Battlefield on the release day. Uh, so difficult. <laughs> nah, it's okay though. Just postpone the way. <laughs> yeah. Imperial troops. And they have already secured the area. Reveal yourselves at once. Reveal yourself. <clears throat> <laughs> and there I was expecting more beast men. Who are you? Regula. I am. I thought his guardians responsible for the disappearance of our scouts, but I see now that I was mistaken. Oh yeah, Pat, that's the other thing. This game gets very voice acted the further you get into the game. Just as Wire observed, the Warrior of Light is wont to appear at the most inopportune times. 
A Realm Reborn, there's not really a lot of voice Warrior acting. Of Only special moments. Off. It's a significant it difference, though. From that to the first expansion. Anime bad guy. It does look unexpected. pretty cool. The secrets of the Alagans' power to bind icons to their will could scarcely fail to interest the scions of the Seventh Dawn. You know as well as we what will ensue should these insatiable creatures be allowed to roam free. That their very existence threatens the life of this star. We but disagree on the solution to the problem. Genocide has ever been the Empire's favored recourse. And that is why we will continue to oppose your every attempt to claim Eorzea. You do not hesitate to speak your mind, even when your every word could be your last. Alas, your sentiments betray the narrowness of your view. The fate of Eorzea and its inhabitants is of little concern next to the fate of the world. Tis my solemn charge as Emperor to bring the icons to heal. If this requires the extermination of certain elements, then so be Stop it. Stop supporting PS3 and slower systems. Ooh. That's pretty cool, too. Yeah, because, like, right now, like, the animations no, aren't really, they like, are not his thralls. they're very basic. <laughs> and forward. Face animation. Oh. Uh -huh. Where did that come from? Take cover. I didn't do it. Oh snap. Your radiance. We must withdraw. Yeah, actually, it looks pretty evil. There's also a lot of moments of awkward silence. But I think that's just very JRPG-ish itself. Holy crap. It's the Nazi boy. We shall meet again, warrior of light. On that, you have my word. So Garlemald too has designs on Azisla. But why would the Emperor himself elect to lead the expedition? But yeah, did you guys see um, the Steam Deck? I thought it said Stream Deck, but it's Steam Deck coming out. It looks pretty cool. It's expensive as hell, though. Super expensive. Like, way more. The new Switch Pro? Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Okay, so what do I have to do? I have to get naked and do this. I want to look. I'm going to look. Yeah, but literally, if it if it comes out and it's like really good and like people love it, I honestly will debate about uh, unequipped. Uh, Unequip my weapon too. How do I unequip my weapon?
just the main gear all right let's do it hopefully there's not like a million uh wait time but i guess we'll see you can leave it on okay all right um Why does my one computer it keeps coming back with? Yeah, see, I have 10 days of playtime remaining. It doesn't know anything. There's two big stringers on Genova right now. True. Yeah, so I, I mean, we'll see. Whatever. It's not like the biggest deal. How do I? How do I do it? Rotate camera. Character settings and clients for that is strongly recommended that you save your data locally before attempting it back up to the servers. This can be done family that via the big. Try right clicking. There it is. Save appearance. What am I right now? Am I a Highlander? I don't even know what any of these are. I'm just gonna do five. I am a Highlander. Enter. Are you sure you want to alter your blood? And a face paint will be unavailable depending on a race. Certain helmets may be unavailable. Road previously saved. No. Highlander says on the left. All right, right. Okay, so let's see. Oh, that's the... Right, right. Oh, what? I have the Hrothgar now? And Viera? The Viera are the bunny people. Damn, why is my guy so chiseled? <laughs> yeah, Alright, all right, hold on, let me... I didn't realize I can be a Hrothgar now. These look pretty sick. See, the only thing, I mean, we'll see, but. Uh. All right, I forget that you do, you select one of these and then you like select a subclass. Uh -huh. I forgot about that. So like you select this and then you choose this or that. See, I, I liked the Midlander. But there's no facial hair for them. So I was like tiny. <laughs> Bunny or we riot. Now now that I'm in here, I like how my guy looks. <laughs> but let's see, let's see. Wait, how do I go back? Do the cat boys, do they have beards? You don't have beards. Randomize. Beautiful. I don't think they do have. Tattoos, face paint, voice. They just have the goatee, yeah. They literally have a tail. <laughs> maybe one day, maybe one day. Whoops. I didn't mean to fully e exit. Mm -hmm. I don't 
know if I see many of these. Like, actually. So, this is actually kind of cool. <laughs> Am I about to become a furry? <laughs> Wait, why does this actually look cool? Simba, you must cast your summoner abilities. That one actually looks cool. They do have a tail. Very stream. <laughs> I keep pressing that and, and by accident. Alright, the reason that we came here, let me look at... Oh my god, I thought I just hit confirm for a second. I was so nervous. Confirm. <laughs> Get me out of here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh my God. You know who that? This reminds. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That reminds me of, um, uh, he, dude, the, the Elizins are so long. Like, Jesus. These guys are huge, too. I mean, like, I kind of like that, too. That's cool, but wait, let me see. That's too bulky for me, though. I mean, like, maybe if I was a tank or something, or, like, making another character. I don't know, I yes. Oh, there's difference. There's Sea Wolves and Hell's Guard. No, I, I asked. I always forget that there's, like, multiple options. So, clan? Uh... What are the form of letter ladder? Black scales and fiery wills serving a divine lineage. Embrace the life of tranquility and solitude long abandoning the nomadic lifestyle of their ancestors to settle deep valleys of the mountainous eastern regions only a rare cohesions one of the emerge from the valley mist to seek adventure in realms afar i mean these look pretty cool too uh -huh. let's see So this is what I could look like. I mean, I'm not fully opposed to it. Different. And I feel like for being what I am, a sorcerer, I mean, it's kind of cool. Oh shit, I have a tail. You get a tail?
Let's customize them like this. All right, let's see. I want to be tall, but not like extremely tall. Because I saw some of them that are pretty tall. I wish you could see like comparison like next to other people or like other races. I guess this is like the closest we'll get for a comparison. Let's do like 75. Five. Fine, 76. Skin color. Hold on. Also, I don't know what color to go. I'm holding on. I'm holding on real good, real tight. Oh, you're going to get like a size comparison thing. I don't know like whether to go like human color like that or if like that's another thing is like I wish this game had like tattoos like I wish I could load myself out with like tattoos everywhere add more facial options those are like my two complaints about like customization wise or I don't know whether to go like purple kind of like a drow you know like or like this Oh my god. What? I'm looking at it very closely. It's going to be hard for me to, to look at this launch. It's literally, though, oh my god. Like, look at that. That. Holy crap. So. The tallest you can go is 230 cent. These are centimeters, though. Is it centimeters in game? inches shit <laughs> uh so i mean like i kind of want to be like medium you know like how about wait where is oh okay 209 centimeters is how much in oh wait no uh all raw Alright, 146. Uh Alright, 200 and that 203. 203 centimeters in inches. 79. Okay. So, okay. That's actually not too bad. 79 so 203 equals 79 inches, almost 80. So 75 puts me at about probably like right here, this area, which isn't too bad. I mean, that's fine with me. How much 75 inches is 190. So that puts me at right here. She's 191 actually so that's like dead center that literally is dead center <laughs> wait 78 is because that's what it's set for right now 198 right here so let's do what's 194 194 76 okay we'll do 76 oh uh, not a huge difference barely a difference yo yobex thank you for that that's 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 insane that that actually exists okay now we choose skin color do i go purple like drow wise or do i go like human color like a little tan a little not tan <laughs> I think I might go like human color. 
like that maybe or i mean i could be like or that you know what let's do it whatever dude all right tail shape what kind of tail what kind of tail do i want rachel <laughs> Ah, yes. Whoa, that is a big tail. I'm making a tail. What? Huh? No, it's gone. That's a nice tail. That's a bigger tail. This is like what my t I mean, tail looks like. That's a skinny tail. That looks like a dragon's tail. You should check out how it looks in different environments. Oh, uh, true. Might look good or ugly, depending. Yeah, I think I'm alright with that. I mean, so far it looks... It doesn't look bad. They're trying to decide. All right, so what tail do I want? I mean, that one's kind of cool. Yeah, whatever. Let's do that one. Not whatever, but tail length. Super long. Now, let's do like 40. Little tail. Hairstyle. All right, this is where it's going to get interesting. So, oh, I was not expecting to do this, by the way, but now I'm interested. So, I need to change this hair color before I do anything. Doesn't look bad. I can stick with the same hair I have a current currently. What happened to me? I was turned chur into a... A thing. Lizard. I used to have this hair on my character. <laughs> my original character. I don't know, the short hair kind of looks cool too. Whoa, that actually kind of looks good. The, uh, the short hair kind of, like, reminds me of, like, I feel like I'm turning into an e-boy. One sec. If you don't like your hair, you can always change it for the game. Oh, yeah. That's one thing. That's actually not bad at all. So, like, okay, that's nice. That's good. good catch. So if I do choose something and I'm like, oh, no, I don't really like that down the line, then I could be like, all right, and just go back and change. Let's try this hair for now. Yeah, I'm less concerned about the hairstyle then. Okay, face. So face affects your horns. He looks so sad. Why does he look so sad? Can I adjust his, like, smile? Let's 
sad boy. Yeah, literally, it looks so sad. I don't want to look sad. I mean, like, I'm sad, but I don't want to look sad. Like, right there, I mean, I like how that looks, though, but I just don't like the sad face. Like, these look angry. I don't like those pointy things. You can change it further so he isn't sad. Oh, really? Uh, jaw. Yeah, let's do three. Eye shape. Iris size. Do large eyes. Eye colors. One of these like red. Right there. to the detail whoa wait can you change that color Ooh. that's cool Eyebrows. He's starting to look less sad. He looks angry now. Nose. mouth other facial features end up looking angry for some reason oh my god you can have a mustache Whoa. Can't decide. Kind of like that. It's almost like he has a beard. Face paint. Yes, a nice heart over the eye. Actually, I kind of like that. Or maybe known.
I think it's the eyebrows that you get. That's better. That's better than when it was before. Alright, let's see. What a difference <laughs> from what we went to to what we are now. I think we're going to do it. This might be it. Not just a regular human anymore. We are now. A or, uh, or something like that. I feel like the samurai class would look pretty cool like this too. Let's do it. Confirmed. All right, we are reborn. 58, oh God, it's going up. <laughs> oh man. I mean, 58 still isn't too bad. Though so I've, I've heard that it's, it goes up to like 200 sometimes. Since I am playing on one of the higher servers. Server's popping right now. Yeah. <laughs> Genova does pretty good. Funny thing is, like, I wasn't originally, like, planning that either. But it kind of just ended up like that. So. Okay, so let's see what our poses are like now. That actually doesn't look... That kind of looks cool. I kind of dig this. I feel like, like my guy kind of looks like a little bit like... In my opinion, I feel like my, my person kind of looks a little like Dr. Strangey with the mustache. Read your book. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with how that turned out. I think that looks pretty cool. All right, let's see what other, do the poses change? Can you type like this? I don't think so. I think I still like the crossed arms thing. I think that looks pretty good. Oh, take out your weapon and do C pose too. Uh, what is it? 
Uh, Z, I think. I forgot that you can do that. So is it just like that or is it, yeah, after you're standing for a bit? Okay, that's standard. I think there's only two. There's no pose. And then there's also look at your book pose. But maybe other weapons have different. Not bad. This will be interesting as we progress now. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to go. I think dinner is ready, so I'm going to go eat real quick. And then we shall continue here. So, let me take this. Sorry. Time is it? It's eight o'clock. Always getting distracted. I will be back. Um, I'm going to go eat real quick. I'm just going to... Oh. All right, chat. I am back. And we're going to return to this. It has literally been an hour. Oh, my God, Yobex. I'm amazed. <laughs> Hello. I am back. Wow. Sorry, we got into like a very, uh, not like a very intense, but we got into a conversation about mortgages and housing stuff and things like that. Cause we're getting ready to, to officially start looking and stuff. So we are just talking about that with my family, but now I'm back so we can, uh, continue some final fantasy in the meantime. Some busy months coming up very soon, but I, I can't once once we have our own place, I think I'm going to bring uh, my webcam back and stuff and probably go back and forth between like a green screen behind me and uh, like a regular background. But we'll see. We'll see on that. Finally returning to Sid. So one thing I, I come completely forgot about is there there's technically the class that you play as it affects your um or the race that you play as it affects your your stats very little Love that animated. I love those those emotes every time. That's what I hope to have as emotes someday. Oh, that's Mr. Happy. I didn't know that the one was ha Mr. Happy. My malicious. And I've heard of Miss. I missed. Uh, I heard of Mr. Happy the first time today.
did not think that I would ever have occasion to pilot a suit of Magitek armor again. Least of all under these circumstances. My full name is Lucia Go Junius, and I was born a citizen of Garlemald. Ah, that explains it. When we first met in Ishgard, I very nearly called you Livia. Livia? Livia Sus Junius? The tribunus who served under Gaius van Baelsar? Aye, she was my sister, though we spent little time together. After our parents were killed in an uprising, we were sent to live in different households, setting us on separate paths. Livia felt at home on the battlefield and chose to become a soldier, while I underwent training to become a spy. Then, Ishgard was... My mission. It was believed that Alagarn relics of great worth were stored in the vault, and I was sent to investigate. Though I was given little information at the time, I now suspect I was searching for the Kiwi but recently lost. And then I met Sir Emmerich. It was his usefulness to my mission which prompted me to approach him. But I soon found myself drawn to him for other reasons. Yo, what's going on, Dev? He too was a prisoner of his past. Well, judged for his heritage as a on the happy, son of the on the good side. Yet unlike my sister and I, he did not curse his fate. He simply There's rose 14 above days it. for free right now. In time, I came to realize that I had found a man worth following, and a new home besides. And when I subsequently confessed all to Sir Emmerich, he was good enough to accept me into his service. I do not question your loyalty to Sir Emmerich. It is your loyalty to your sister which concerns me. <laughs> How are you? How are you? opinion that those who dwell in the past risk losing sight of their future. My sister fought for her convictions and for those she held dear. So do I. So must we all. Well, I for one am happy to welcome a fellow Garlean to our merry band. Especially one who can make Magitek armor sing. Chief, we should be getting close. Once we break through those clouds, we'll be right where the light was pointing. Right where Aziz La should be. Hold on, everyone! Looking very edgy, my my good sir. Thank you. I uh, I literally just changed my character's look a little bit ago. How are you liking this DLC, dude? Uh, this that... has been so much better than the original Alaga. like starting story. I... There's no mistaking their handiwork. sort of barrier she won't hold chief she's breaking up i've lost the auxiliary propeller sid it's no use we must return to ishgard and find another way god damn it all why do the Alagans always have to make everything so bloody complicated? 
Hold on one second, chat. Okay, chat. I'm back. Sorry, getting old for like house stuff. <laughs> so, anyways, um, got one of the new Final Fantasy games for free. One of the remasters might be seven, but I like uh, fourteen more, dude. Seven. Uh. I 
I had to click out of the game because it'll keep uh, putting me into that mode. Why does this person look so cool? What jacket is that? I really like that. Crystal Scions Traveler's Jacket. Ooh. Ooh. That's kind of cool. Scion Traveler's Jacket. What pants is that? Leonhart Bottoms. I like that whole outfit. Actually, that whole fit, yo. That fit be do, be do looking good. <laughs> They're a ninja too. Why is it actually sick? I don't know what to do. Like, I kind of want it. <laughs> this is like the one outfit that I actually like. That I've seen so far. Do I just like take screenshots of everything? Scion Traveler's Jacket. Notepad. Well, let me open up Notepad. Scion. Traveler. Jacket. Then. This person's looking at me. Oh, God. They're staring at me. Oh God. Am I special? <laughs> Why are they looking at me? Scion Traveler Glow. Glow. There, it seems like they're wearing. Okay, that's nothing. Leonhart Bottoms. Is this why people just like... See, the one thing I always find like weird is like... And, and, and like, I don't, I just don't understand it personally. But like a lot of people, like they just stop. Oh, they're in, they're in a cutscene. Okay, they're not looking at me. They're in a cutscene. I was like, why are they looking at me like that? <laughs> um... Yeah, but this is probably the coolest outfit I've seen so far. I actually like how this character looks. Boots of scouting. What was it? I couldn't figure out how to save outfits. It, it's a kind of like a convoluted thing that you need to do. So, uh, what is it? Smilodon skin, boots of scouting. Smilodon skin, boots of scouting. I'm getting very distracted tonight. I think this is whatever, whatever. I think that's whatever. I think the only other thing that really matters, yeah, it's just all the left stuff. Okay. I'm a tall, skinny boy now. All right, if we end up at uh, Limso Lominsa anytime soon, then I'll I'll go check out the um, the stuff there. Forgotten night. Let's try to. Got night. Where is it? Basically, um, the 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 outfits 
essentially you you make like you sacrifice a piece of gear into this thing called the um uh I forget what it's called the glamour and then you change the look of other stuff to become that so yes proceed In summary, the Isle owes its lofty position to the industry of the Alagans. And we can be all but certain that the Archbishop and his cronies are enjoying the view from its top. I see. If we are to join them, we will first need to pass through the Isle's etheric barrier, which is, alas, more powerful than most. Powerful enough to make a mess of a perfectly good airship at any rate. As far as I can gather, the barrier mechanism draws ether from the surrounding environment and polarizes its elemental aspect to produce what is, in effect, a wall of lightning. It seems plain that without the Vanu's key, any attempt to reach the Isle will end in failure. Alas, the key was careless enough to leave without us, and I don't think the Vanu keep a spare. Master Garland, based on your experience, is there no other way that we might breach the barrier? Well, in the past, we've beaten similar barriers by nullifying them with elemental converters. But the one we're up against this time dwarfs all that we've encountered before. The Enterprise simply isn't large enough to bear the requisite the amount of crystals. The game just won't let me confirm the glamour. Fine, I don't play anymore. I'm reminded of the quantity needed to nullify Leviathan's command of the sea. A veritable mountain of crystals that could only be borne by lashing two galleons together to form a twin vessel, scarcely able to propel itself, much less fly. That said, we're not without options. If it isn't feasible to nullify the barrier, we might try piercing it. How? We create a ram of condensed ether and mount it on my ship. There's just one problem. I don't have the faintest idea how to build one. It's going to take a true authority in the field, I reckon. Would that the Archons were still with us. But yesterday evening, I chanced to find Mistress Tataru in unusually high spirits. Assuming I understood her excited ramblings correctly, she has acquired a clue, pointing to the whereabouts of one such individual. An Archon? Truly? Ha! Fortune favors the righteous, eh? Well then, let's not waste any time. While you go and look for our missing friend, I'll work on modifying the Enterprise. Her hull will need reinforcing to bear the punishment, not to mention a mount for the ramp. Just you wait, my pretty. By the time I'm finished, you'll we'll be always an airship find a way. reborn. Ataru EDC. That's funny. Yestola. 
Dev, they're bringing bunny boys in the next update. That is a giant bow. Holy crap. Uh, also, this person, if there's one person I could ever say elegant, it is them right there. That is elegant AF. Bunny boys, you say? I I could have I could have made a cat boy, but I didn't. <laughs> I made a demon, uh, a lizard boy, or a dragon boy, technically. I still like like all the. I I don't know something about that face, and the mustache. I think it looks pretty cool, and the short hair like that. I like how this turned out. Cast us the furry never. <laughs> I was close, I was close, but I didn't, I didn't. Maybe if I ever make like another character, then potentially, but good for now. I I would see this is the type of game where you kinda like make one character and that's it. Unless if you're making one on another data server or another world i mean like yeah you can have multiple characters but it's almost get it almost feels like it's getting to the point where like it's not really necessary because you um you'll be able to travel between every place i hate multiple characters i always just want use just one yeah, exactly so like you don't need to really either. Where's the, uh, there's a market around here. Merchant strip. Uh, legend. I want to go to the market board. Is there one here? I thought there was. Here it is. Okay, it's in the other side. Let me go to uh, this one. Emerald Ave was my favorite place in the game. I'm not sure if I went there. I'm excited to try out the other classes and stuff too. Like I played Samurai for a very, very little amount of time. Oh yeah, this person. this I'm pretty sure potential po very slightly potential spoiler but I think that person is evil from what I remember and we just don't know uh, officially know yet I forget though Splinter Cell? Sam Fisher? Got the target, Sam. Take him out. I'm just going to do a full on back. Tattoo of Final Fantasy. My entire back. <laughs> My tattoo artist actually likes Final Fantasy too, which is funny. He likes like the original ones. Uh, I can't move. Oh, there we go. Hmm. <laughs> boy. Yep. Yep. That's me. I do be a fan of many things. Catch up. Oh no, he's beating me. The song is so relaxing. 
I love this one. Yeah, I know it's giving me the vibes exactly. Mm. Um. Oh wait, you know what I forgot to do? I I totally forgot to make the um. I don't know if you can do it here, but I forgot to get my retrainer. Retrainer. I think there there might I'm sure there's probably one here. Right there. Retrainer poke it. Maybe. Let's see. Higher retrain retainer. Retainer. Not retrainer. And here we go. You get to create a character to be your retainer. Oh my God. All right, I think I might have to. I just might. did that oh yes <laughs> 60 inches actually let's go short there we go there we go perfect here we go This is going to be my, uh, let's see, that's fine. Okay. I don't know what kind. Sure. Eyes. Color eyes. Red. It's like when you make them in uh, Baldur's Gate. You make like your your girl or whatever your uh well your your dream person in Baldur's Gate. I remember making mine a tiefling. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. We can leave that. This is like your your inventory person, I think. Or something like that. Tattoo color. Did we even select the tattoo? Oh, no, we didn't. Nice Pokemon catch. Thanks. <laughs> uh 
your retainer's appearance. Got him. Independent, lively, lively. Yes. Name Yobex. <laughs> Just kidding. Unless. Uh, I don't know. At. Yes. Oh, you have to choose a special name? Oh. However, the hyphens cannot be used in succession. Perfect. Deduction. <laughs> oh, <it's good. laughs> oh, I can't do that. I can't do that. Or I could do that, but watch it not be taken. Oh, that's so bad, though. Or I feel like it could be bad. I was going to do a mix of the first two letters of my last name. This last name. And... To do Kitty. But then it would end up being Clitty. <laughs> It might work, but I'm nervous that it's going to be like, no, or it's going to be like, yes. And then somebody else yells. All right, whatever. Let's see. Not available. Gladdy. Claddy, it Claddy worked. It's a mix between Clay and Kitty. Back, sorry, my mom was hot AF and I aired it out. <laughs> what? Oh, your room! Your room! 
I was like, what? My bad. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I I could have swore I saw an 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 M. I saw an M. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Hey. <laughs> oh, that's sick. What is that? What? That's awesome. I I found a few uh um, oh yeah, I think I've seen that before actually. Oh my god, I can't believe I thought that's what it was. I just hired a set, I mean, uh, a retainer. See? There's my retainer. Sick. It is. Oh my god. I trust items to withdraw. I, uh, making a name for them was the hardest part. Uh, let's get to the market board. So I found some outfits that I'm going to try seeing if I can get. So Scion Traveler. Scion. Trav. Can't find it. It's very cute. Wait, can I do... Scion. Trap maybe traveler. Do I have to select an option? It's the Scion Traveler. Scion Traveler jacket. I want it. I saw it and it looked really cool. Click the partial match. That might help. See, this is what it looked like. Uh-huh. <laughs> that hasn't updated yet. Leather work one. Oh, it is. Oof. You get it at the end of Stormblood. Ah. I guess there's. Well, let's just look, I guess. Is there any, like, cool things? Whoa. That's cool. But it's probably, like, Oh, not bad. Well, I can't wear it. Wait, can you? Um, if I bought this, can you wear it? Uh, like, can I glamour something as it? Or do you have to be that? I forget. No. Okay, so it has to be what it has to be. Same class. Okay, got it. So what am I? I'm an summoner try on I don't know I'm just looking right now night is like a very like look around I saw somebody wearing this earlier today actually I have that I have something similar to that 
I have that. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I just don't like the color. But I, I do have a ton of dye too. That's interesting. Like very dragony. Sounds like somebody is drinking something over and over. He's connecting. Dragon looks like Warframe. Apparently they're getting a big update this weekend. Or well, the next day or so. Ew. I'm just kind of, I'm trying to be a hot aura boy. <laughs> Engage in some ERP, you know what I mean? Warframe still lit. Do you actually play? Yeah, I want to play that game more, but it, it's so hard with, uh, once you, like, I got to level 30 and, like, I get level 35 missions and stuff, and I can't do anything because I don't have the gear for it. And it's annoying. Ah, uh, these are specific, like, clothing. Not for a few years now. GTA is getting street racing updated. I'm excited. Really? Huh. That's cool. They better go like all out for like GTA. Uh, um, six. Best man. Ah. Actually, perfect. Beautiful. Isn't there like a summer shirt somewhere? I remember one of the people I used to play with, they had a cool summer shirt. Can you fake dye this? Enable dye preview. Aha. Looks kind of cool. It's an event item. Oh, really? Oh, man. Poncho. Ooh. Ooh, just a little bit of teasing. <laughs> I've seen this so many times. Suspenders. <laughs> Summer shirt right here. Here's one. There's also like a Hawaiian shirt that somebody has. I, I have one of these. Urban coat. How about, wait, what about this? If I didn't enable die. I wish I had that colored black. That's the closest I can get to black though. Yep, I would, I would be broke after buying that one shirt. Rebel coat. What's the difference between the rebel coat and the urban coat? Very little.
nothing. <laughs> Casual jacket. Drape top. Wait, is that a tattoo? On the arm? I think it was. Skyworkers singlet is the only thing with a tattoo forced. Huh. I feel like this would actually kind of look cool wearing all leather, but I feel like, is that like a female jacket? And it's also probably like half a million dollars. Yeah, it's 300k. No, that's the Terminator's jacket from Terminator 2. True story. No way. <laughs> Half skin rider's jacket. Am I about to buy one? Exact same style and all. Actually, pretty close. Decently close. I need leather pants. I need leather pants. I might honestly have some, but. I mean, these would work, probably. Wait, do they include the shoes? Oh shit, actually, these would work. Oh, that's not bad at all. Give me that. I don't even care. All right, shoes. I need some like cool looking shoes shoes let's go get shoes
Watch out those. Naple die preview. Bye. I don't like how they're. Just don't wear shoes. True. Half boot. Just be naked. True. I look beautiful naked. I mean, they, these want to be horrible. Nineteen. Sure. Let's buy some backups. Survival boots. Revout, enable, die. I might actually have those. What do I have on right now, actually? I'm wearing thigh boots. Wrap their skin. Skyworker. Calf skin. How much are these? Jesus. No oh, thanks. All right, let's, uh, where are we at? Let's go over to, is there an inn? Adventures Guild, right? Yeah, yeah, Adventures Guild. Steps uh, right there, Adventures Guild. Got it. Hmm. Did all that stuff just automatically go into your inventory or does it go to your mailbox? That's one thing I forgot. Um, it doesn't look like it. Let's see a mail icon. Inventory. Okay, cool. So I can automatically. Wait, did we get Sid? We got to wind up Sid. Oh my god. Okay. So let's see if I can remember how to do this. So essentially, uh, we'll go over to the inn person, the innkeep, go to this, retire to a room right this way. Thank you. Ulda. Summon my slate, I mean my retainer. Can they, can I, can they just keep me company in the room? Stay here. No! Oh. All right, uh, this, head armor plates. Four. So, oh wait, open armor. We have to put it into this thing, right? First. So store an item. Wait, did it go into my inventory inventory or? The 
head. Uh, so it was chest, right? Wait, body, hands. I don't see it. Or is this stuff that's already in there? No. Yo, Bex, do you know how this works? How do you do glamours again? To put in thing, I'm trying to glamour like what I just did, but I you need glamour prisms. Oh, I have some, right? Yeah, so. I'm trying to make a glamour set, glamour plate. So like right here. Yeah, I have 94. Open the armor, okay. Store an item or remove an item. Stuff on the right. I mean the dresser. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Right. Ah, beautiful. Exactly. <laughs> wow, we have a lot of stuff. I'm not even like sure I knew I had. The heck? Spectacles. Ah, smarticles. All right, head body. It's saying it will reset the spirit to zero and condition to 100% as a signatures. Right, that's what I want to do. So this will add it into this, right? Into that. Yes. Boom. Got it. Now gloves. Did I even have any gloves that I wanted to do? Yeah, I don't really need gloves for that. Okay. Legs. So actually, let me see. Do I have any leather stuff? The leather looking. Beautiful. Falconer's bottom. I think these are the ones I just got. And then shoes. Those actually might be better. Gear with durability less than 100 can cannot be converted. Uh, do I have to repair it first? I'm assuming so. What what are these called again? Is it that 
even star boots. Yeah. So if I go to inventory, no, C. Uh, wait. Um, what's the button? Armory chest. Boots. There's the dragon skin one. Even star. Air. Uh. Oh. Oh, I need to go to a person to repair them. All right, let's try doing just the legs, feet, uh, dragon star one. When data center travel comes along, hopefully later this month. Uh, later this month, hopefully, I can give you whatever you need for Glamour. I provide for the FC. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I can't wait until data travels around. That'll be nice. Having friends. Gloves or no gloves? I'm feeling no gloves. I feel like these don't match. Looking sick. Thank you. I need some fake glasses. I have some fake glasses, technically. Beautiful. <laughs> Just like that. Do I look cool? Am I... Am I... Cool? Oh, oh man. I feel like I look weird. I feel like the pants... Were a mistake. And the boots. Although they match. The only other option I have is like this thing. I think that's actually better. Yeah, keeping the boots like under wraps. Like that, I think is better. Let me check. Ants again? Ah, uh, the legs feet. Legs feet. Beautiful. There we go. That should go perfectly. Huh. 
<laughs> Our of these. Okay. I guess that's good enough. Let's see if we can do just like a tiny bit more. Um, and then I'll probably call it soon. I've been hearing that song for way too long. song in a while Sam Fisher? The rune Sam Storm was right in front of you, player. Speak to him at the altar. I look like I just got back from a metal concert. <laughs> Where there was dragon blood sacrifices. All right, chat. I think I'm going to hand in this quest and go to sleep because I am getting tired all of a sudden. So let's go do that. Uh, I will not be on tomorrow or Saturday, but potentially whatever time I'm back Sunday. Uh, we might do a stream. We'll see. Um, cause I'm going, I'm going to the shore this weekend with, the, uh, some friends. So, no stream tomorrow night. No stream Saturday. But potentially Sunday. 
Alright, you know what? Just for the sake of it, not putting me into a long cutscene, I'm just gonna end right here. <laughs> so that way, next time we log on, uh, we can just hand in that quest and continue where we're at. So, for now, thank you for hanging out as always. Uh, Yobex, I appreciate you as always as well. Um, I am going to get some sleep in a second here. Let me see what this looks like. Uh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. That's sweet. I didn't even look at. The, I didn't even think about the C pose thing. I forgot about that. That's awesome. But yeah. All right. I'm gonna get some sleep. So thank you everyone for hanging out tonight. As always, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook, Discord, YouTube, which that's where you'll find me. And exclamation point rebel for the rebel boys out there. For now, though, I'm tired. 